Um, we've developed in the community before we built the mission post plan in the lots. I'm here actually on behalf of Meritage uh, Development. Meritage has developed thousands of homes across the uh, metropolitan area. Here they're the premier developer of land and lot developments for numerous builders. So Meritage is proposing to uh, improve the lots that they proposed here. Uh, my role is that I've worked on this project for the past two years as this has been in and out of bankruptcy um, to uh, provide for a better plan here. As Mr. Dyson said, the original plan included 258 total lots that were laid, laid out in a very linear fashion and the revisions to the PRD, um, as you can see, are a little bit more uh, attractive and for a nicer layout. Now, the lots that were originally proposed were essentially 90 feet by 90 feet. Um, the revised plan has for the traditional single family lots, they're 70 feet wide on average by 150 feet deep or so. The patio homes that were referred to in the plan are similar to the homes that we're building, our company is building at the Mission Hills plan, which are um, narrow and deep. So those lots are 53 feet wide by uh, 151 feet deep. Square footage of the lots, net hasn't really changed. The configuration of the use of the land has changed and it's more um, appropriate for today's for today's uh, homeowners. So as as was stated, the original plan had 258 total lots that were approved. We're proposing 225 here and uh, I believe that um, we've gone back and forth with the engineers question and comments as we had submitted them in the planning commission meeting. We have indicated that we'd address any questions and comments that were there. Um, Notwithstanding that, uh, we'd we'll be glad to answer any questions that the, uh, that the supervisor pointed out. One thing, Paul, you did mention was there there was a comment at the planning commission meeting that the proposed road from the PRD was going to come down an existing right away in between two developed lots. And there was a concern related to the amount of traffic that would come through there. So the developer took that comment into, into, uh, into consideration. And what they did was they actually moved the projected opening uh, down further down the road so this, this plan will have an independent entry. And where that point is along the plan, there's actually no homes, other homes right at that point. But it's actually a better entry point for this plan. They won't be disrupting the other people that are already there. It improve, improves that situation. That's the only other thing I wanted to add. I have a question. Um, the Sir Robert is is the existing road that stopped <clears throat> part way up the hill for a number of years? Is that correct? Uh, I, I, I beg your pardon, sorry, I hear you. Sir Robert? Yes. That was the existing road that stopped just as it started up the hill. That was actually King Edward. That's the one that went to the college. So. That's King Edward? If, if I may. My name is Bob Bedler. I'm the server for the Meritage Group. The, uh, the two roads that are in phase three of Windsor Woods is King Edward, which has the, the houses on it, and it's Sir Richard that comes up the hill. There's about, right now, there's probably about a, I'm just going to approximate about a 30 foot asphalt, uh, basically, turnaround for Sir Richard right now. At the top. It's, it's off of King Edward and just extends just for the curve return just to have enough to delineate that there was an opening there for a future roadway. And
see if I may, while you're while you're looking at that, the other the other benefit to moving this entrance is also topographically it's, it's, it, there's a, there's a big elevation difference between where Sir Richard was originally supposed to wind up behind the first lot and and where King Edward is right now. It was approximately 30 feet in elevation difference, which the roadway on Sir Richard would have required to be approximately about 12%, which is a very steep roadway. By moving the entrance to where it's moved to on the plan right now presented before you, the roadway then changes to 7%. So it's actually a much, much more appealing roadway than the, the 12%. Can these lots are then going to be approximately 70 by 150? Is that what you said? The, uh, the single family homes the minimum is 70 feet wide. Some of them are wider than that. But the ones at the top of the hill is if you scan out there for a moment. The ones at the top of the hill, uh, I'm not sure how it's oriented on your screen, man, but um, the, along the top of what it says phase, phase five, those are those are 53 foot lots because those are where we're building um, the narrow. What type of homes are you building? Um, if you indulge me, I could show you the elevations of them if you'd like to see.